Hello Internet, Internet. Big Dave is here, and I am cheap. Sure. Hello Internet, it's Big Dave here, and we are back with more Nuclear Throne. Yes, indeed. No more horror shenanigans this time, in part because I don't have horror unlocked. We've moved on to a new update. We are on update number 38. I know I record these in big bunches and then dole them out over a series of weeks, so I kind of want to get in the habit of showing you guys the update screen so you know where we are in time. So for update 38, lots of co-op fixes to stabilize co-op, the addition of the lightning hammer, improving Fish's roll ability, and other balancing changes and tweaks of all sorts. So I had a really good warm-up run with Crystal, making it all the way past the Crystal Caves to whatever the heck that snow area is called. I think that's only the second time I've made it, so I don't know the name of it. But this time around, I think we're actually going to play as chicken. I did a quick warm up with chicken just to get a feel for the old girl, assuming it's a female because chickens are the girls and roosters are the boys. So I wanted to get a nice feel for chicken, uh, just uh, did one level and did really poorly and then said, you know what? I did so poorly. I think that's a character I want to work on. So chicken is a character that starts with only a melee weapon, a nice uh, katana sword there, and also with the ability to slow down time maybe give you some bullet dodging abilities, things like that. Just some fun stuff. It's an interesting character, especially only starting with a, a sword. Kind of makes that first weapon crate uh, sort of essential, though you can really do... Wow. You can really do good work with the sword if you don't just let uh, maggots walk into you like that. Well, let's see. A slugger. Sure. That'll be a fine offhand weapon to have, so we'll definitely take it. And suck in all that XP. Not quite enough to get our first level. Uh, but the other ability that Chicken has is after Chicken dies, uh, Chicken actually gets a chance to scratch and claw for a little life. Uh, you get to literally run around uh, like a chicken with your head cut off. And you get to attempt to uh, get any sort of life, whether it be from picking up something off of an enemy drop or uh, using an ability like Bloodlust, let's say, that would give you a uh, grenade launcher, that would give you some additional life. You get a chance, a second chance at life after uh, having died. So we've got our special spawn scorpion up here, uh, which I don't really want any part of, but uh, we might as well go ahead and break our canister open and we have two grenade launchers i think i'm gonna just grab one to help us with our special spawn here there we go don't want to actually leave my katana behind i'm a big fan of the chicken sword i don't know what the general community's consensus is on the chicken sword uh, i like it so i'm not going to abandon it too quickly uh, though i will inevitably abandon it at some point you know, once Chicken abandons the sword, uh, the really cool thing that Chicken has going to the advantage there is that slowing ability. And I really like Throne Butt for Chicken, which actually allows you to continue moving at your normal speed while everything else is slowed down in, uh, in the slow mode. So it's really, really nice. Stronger attract power, lower your reload time with kills, uh, damage dealt to all enemies, and uh, most hit bullets become ammo. Uh, let's go with stronger attack power. And we did double level up, so last wish. Second skin. Uh, that can be nice for chicken, of course, since you're going to be uh, dead at some point and get the chance to sort of revitalize your headless chicken. Getting a little more HP from medkit, sure. But uh, even better than that is indeed uh, Bloodlust. So yeah, we're going to take Bloodlust, because that could definitely come in and uh, really clutch for us. It could really make a huge difference for us, uh, grabbing a very timely Bloodlust uh, HP bonus. Alright, so things are kind of starting to go sideways down there. There's an awful lot of maggots around and an awful lot of scorpions. So let's just clear everybody else out, because we are, of course, going to be fighting the big bandit here. Uh, so yeah, being a little aggressive, uh, melee attacks on the big bandit um, can be uh, can be stupid, but hey, I did it. So uh, again, you know, I marveled a little bit at myself in the last couple episodes. Feel like I'm getting sort of better at the game. I love the slugger, but I think right now what I need is a shotgun, especially going into the sewers. Uh, I think I need a shotgun, so I'm going to take the shotgun uh, just because I think it does help a lot with dealing with the rats and other nasty folks in the sewer. So that's what I'm going to do for now. 
And yes, I managed to somehow avoid damage there and we're headed to the sewers. So it's going pretty well so far. I'm pretty happy, uh, much better than my test runs with chicken. So uh, let's see if we can score a quick kill with that poison. Uh, we hit something. Uh, I just find the, the shotgun to be extremely valuable down here in the sewers because of the way that everything bounces around. It just, it really feels like a, a really tight weapon or a good weapon for such tight uh, corridors. So I am a huge fan of having a shotgun in the sewers. Uh, I don't know what the pro strats say about that, but uh, my strat says anything that can uh, help me with my inability to aim very well, as the shotgun does with the way that it fans out and sprays everywhere. Uh, hey, I'm a big fan of that. I'm a big fan of weapons and uh, game mechanics that compensate for my own personal shortcomings. There we go. Really not using my slowing ability uh, satisfactorily. Really want to start concentrating on using that more effectively. So far, just really not even using it at all. Uh, here's a good opportunity to use it as we come up against uh, this fella. Giving us just a chance to dodge in case that... Uh, let that lovely uh, bile that shoots forth from his bloated body actually flies in our direction, so it did not. Pretty low on shotgun ammo, and we are pretty much finished with the sewers. I like a crossbow quite a bit, so we're going to go with a crossbow. Uh, you know, some of the, the some of the talents that synergize with the crossbow are, are just really nice talents. Uh, of course, you know, I still have to kill rats, so uh, let's actually kill those rats. Uh, two swings of the sword for a common rat. Okay, that's not a ton of uh, a ton of fun, but we can make do here. So a lot of the talents that synergize with, uh, you know, with the crossbow, uh, are just just make it extremely OP. I mean, the uh, homing bolts alone is is one of those. I mean, it it goes through corners, it goes ar around corners. I mean, it does some crazy stuff. So uh, we'll take that. I mean, we see we home, got homing bolts here. You know, asking us, do you want to take me? Uh, rabbit paw. Sharp teeth, impact wrists. I mean, I think I've got to take homing bolts. I'm just putting all my eggs into this basket of the crossbow, uh, and I think it's uh, it's extremely worth it. You can see there, really poor alignment on that shot, uh, but we still got a score there. And sort of firing it blindly when you've got homing bolts uh, into large groups can definitely get you some pretty crazy uh, lucky multi-kills. All right, so I'm just going to try to concentrate here and uh, actually get some uh, get some kills here. Oh, should have definitely been using my uh, <clears throat> excuse me, should have been using my slowing ability right there for sure. It's funny because I'm almost at a place where I can. Uh, yeah, that's right. You want to duel me? Yeah, I'm almost at a place where I can tell you when I should be using my abilities, but I'm still failing to use them. <laughs> <laughs> so I can, excuse me, I can recognize my shortcomings. I just can't do anything to compensate for them. All right, all right. I think we got a nice clear out there. Perfect. I don't mind that one bit. Okay, those guys want to do me harm. That's fine. 20 energy. That's really no help to me whatsoever. Let's get in here and do a little bit of work with our sword. What do we have here? Bazooka? Yeah, maybe you can come with me to the next area, but uh, otherwise you're not going to be of a whole lot of use to me. Maybe you're not going to come with me to the next area. Okay. Alright, so again, just banking on this crossbow. Banking on the crossbow here. Last wish. We could use some ammo, but that would feel like a waste. Uh, Gamma Guts is really nice. Enemies that touch you. I mean, it, it is one of those things I've said before. I don't necessarily know the enemies that hurt me when touching me. So, yeah. For a novice like me, probably not that good. Uh, racing Mind and uh, Extra Feet. I mean, I, there's nothing here that I really want. Um, I mean, the crossbow does have a reload time. <clears throat> excuse me, per bolt, so... Uh, maybe, maybe that's good. Maybe? I, I don't know. I don't know. All right, so... Whoop. Let's concentrate here. That was not good damage. Uh, he did sneak up on me, probably avenging his brother who I killed in the last level. Oh, that was a nice multi-kill there. Got a health pack waiting. Don't want to get greedy. 
but I will take a health pack for sure. Nice uh, alignment there on the snipers actually had me boxed in there for a moment. Oh, I wanted to get two with that with that bolt so badly. Just didn't quite work out for me. Okay, back to full health, so picking up, uh, compensating for my mistake with the uh, samurai, what do those guys call I don't know. I mean, that's one of the things about this game. Uh, so much of this information is out there, I just probably don't do the research to actually know it. Uh, you know, these guys have names, these uh, characters have sexes, they have probably backstories, you know, and I probably should delve a little deeper into it, but uh, I don't know. I guess I'm lazy? <laughs> I mean, I really like the game. I don't... Uh, I don't know why I haven't taken that deeper level of interest in it. I think it's one of those things where right now I'm really bad at the game, and when I'm maybe a little bit better at the game, I'll feel compelled uh, to further invest into the characters. Okay, are we on the third level? Is this the third level? I think it might be. There we go. Okay, I'm a fan of that. There we go clear out here, give myself uh, a moment to think, gather my thoughts. Is Big Dog, there's the Big Dog. Okay, and I'm actually in a really good position for Big Dog, so um, I'm just going to sort of rain bolts in his general direction. And we did it! All right, all right, taking down Big Dog like we know what we're doing. You got a weapon swirling around there. We can also make it over here. A plasma gun, oh my god. So uh, we are almost out of bolts. I, do I want to give up the sword for the plasma gun? I think I'm going to give up the crossbow for the plasma gun. I, I mean, the plasma gun is good. I, I like the plasma weapons uh, for the most part. All right, scarier face, gamma guts... Yeah, let's go for scarier face. We are getting into the tougher enemies, so I think it's worth it to uh, have a little bit more, a little bit more on us, a little bit more that we can do to actually uh, kill these enemies. So if they have less HP, uh, we have a little bit less to do in terms of actually killing these guys. Okay, okay, that's that was really poorly timed, and I think we are just about. Out of time here. All right, we're we're not we're we're hanging on. Okay, there we go. Somehow we are surviving. Okay, is this gonna make our difference for us? The slugger. Ah, oh, what's how much weapon? Uh, Forty-five. I got a lot more ammo for the slugger. I just I don't know if I want to abandon the sword. I have these low ammo weapons. Do I want to abandon the sword? I just don't know. I just don't know. Hmm, the auto shotgun. That sounds like something I'd be interested in. Alright, alright. Tense moment here. I don't get to the crystal caves very often, so, you know, bit of a bit of a tense moment here. I don't want to make myself look like too much of a fool, though. The fact of the matter is I, I am pretty much a fool when it comes to this game. Oh, you're not in a very good spot. There we go. And that was it. All right, so I don't have to worry about taking the, the auto shotgun or anything because I'm completely out of uh, completely out of the, the depth or completely out of range. I knew there was a word there I was looking for uh, for those weapons. So, oof, okay. I'm just, I'm dead silent here because these these enemies just intimidate me so much. I'm almost out of energy. Uh, I'm just, I'm in dire straits here. I'm in absolutely dire straits. That guy's holding a car. That's the first time I've seen one of them do that. Um, I am out of energy. I am scrounging now. I need something. I need ammo. I need something. I'm, I, I'm dead. I'm, I am dead. I got nothing here. I yeah, I got nothing. Great. Uh, so you know, let's just 
those guys died. I mean, I took a lot of damage, but those guys died. Toxic Bow, uh, yeah, I think you're going to be my new friend. Hello, how are you? Uh, hello, robot wolf guy. Uh, this might be the, the boon that we need here, so let's cross our fingers and let's start uh, throwing bolts in the general directions of our enemies. Oh my goodness. There's something over there. I can hear it. There we go. I was going to say, I can hear it getting hit. Don't stay, don't get in your own toxin. Okay, there we go. Oh, how, it's just, I am just, I'm living on borrowed time here. I can't believe, hey, Santa Claus guy. Hey, how are you? All right. Definitely needed that ammo. That was a big one. That was a big one. Oh my. Wow. Okay, uh, so I beat this level. That's kind of scary. Uh, I think that's the first time, officially the first time I've beaten that level. So uh, we've got an assault rifle here that's so tempting, but I think right now I'm living or dying by the, uh, by the bow. Ooh. <sighs> I'm just... I am just in awe of the fact that I have done this. <laughs> Not in awe of my skill, but in awe of the luck that has aligned for this to happen. <laughs> and I'm just super intimidated, so I'm just not saying anything at all. I'm just trying to conserve my ammo. I'm trying to not get cars thrown at me. Okay, okay. <sighs> okay, I missed some ammo there, but... That's okay. Got a little bit of XP here. Okay, don't like that at all. Don't like these tight corridors. I really don't like them. Okay, I'm hiding like a coward in a corner. Okay. All right, homing bolts paying dividends here. Okay, scary robot. Uh, scary robot, hello. I know that that guy fires a barrage like a like a freaking machine gun, so I'm just trying to stay out of the way, and it doesn't help that there's a giant long hallway of death behind me here. Okay, I think he died. I, I Okay, there's one of these guys. Mecha Yetis. Oh, did he call the... Oh, no. No, 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 no. Okay, get a kill. Just concentrate, get a kill, do something, get it. Death, life, nothing, can't. I was, the throne, what, well, that's, the throne was next. Seriously? Wow, okay, that's, that is officially the farthest I have ever made it in this game. I can't believe that. I cannot believe. So that was pretty good. I mean, I, I, I don't want to get, too excited. I feel like that was a large fluke. I feel like that was, you know, one part skill and ten parts luck. But I'm pretty satisfied with that run. I don't really want to embark into anything else. Yeah, I don't think I really want to embark into anything else uh, for this episode. Super excited with that. A really good run with chicken. And I wasn't even using chicken's power effectively. So uh, I think that I'm pretty... Uh, Pretty excited about going forward here with Nuclear Throne. To the guys who are watching this series, I really appreciate it. Every single time I say the same thing, super appreciate your support. Uh, I am loving doing this series, and right now I've got a couple of series running on the channel, and I like this. I like the way things are going, and I appreciate all the support that I get, even though it often only numbers in the teens. I am thankful for every single one of you. So, yeah, we did pretty good this time. We did surprisingly well. All right, guys, I have been Big Dave. This has been Nuclear Throne, and until next time, take it easy.